This is a normal Minecraft world and I'm gonna be making it with Legos. Now, all good Minecraft worlds start with a crafting table. But frick that, I gotta use a base plate. This is Lego, not Minecraft, what are you doing? Now this world I'm about to make is gonna be Bob's. Who's Bob? I'm glad you asked. I got him in my first Lego Minecraft set years ago and he holds a special place in my heart. So I started by laying down some green plates for grass, but then I decided to start working on a hill instead. Now I'm gonna do a cool building time lapse of this hill with copyright free Minecraft music. Just kidding, I'm gonna tell you to subscribe and like the video because I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. Thank you so much much. The next objective was placing the grass. I only put the grass on half of the base plate because I'm making the build half a plains biome and half a desert biome. I thought about making a river in between the two biomes, but in Minecraft the rivers are always a couple blocks down from the biome's landscape. Kind of like a small trench, and to do that I would have to raise the entire rest of the mock up, and there ain't no way I'm doing that. The water's here? No, it isn't. Pretty cool trick, huh? Snapping and making things disappear is a speciality of mine. Also, by the way, a pro tip for you all is laying down your plates on the base plate but not pushing them down completely until you made the landscape exactly how you want it. Otherwise, making the terrain is so much harder. The next thing I did was was put a bunch of grass on the green part. I use an illegal building technique to put the grass in the middle of the plate so it looks like it is covering an entire block like it does in Minecraft. Now the tree on the top of the hill is looking a little sad like I said earlier so I'm gonna make it happy. As you can see one part of the tree is longer than the other so I worked on making the tree a little more symmetrical. That's much better. I put the tree back on the cliff and gave it a friend so now the trees are happier than ever. Now that's Bob Ross moment if I've ever seen one. I then proceeded to rip off a bunch of the chain pieces I had already put down which completely contradicts the pro tip I gave y'all earlier. I am officially a hypocrite but to be fair I forgot I needed to raise the ground to build the well. Yes, I am building a Minecraft well. Possibly the lamest and most useless structure in all of Minecraft. No offense, wells. Anyhow, as I started the well, and I think it's time for another epic building montage. You don't think so? Well, I didn't act. <laughs> All right, the well is done. Now the next objective is to make the desert look lively with lots of vegetation. Cause most deserts usually look like that. So me and my brother were gonna use this technique to put down these little brown twigs that look like dead bushes. Besides the fact they are literally the complete wrong color, but that's a minor detail that can be ignored. I decided not to do this though because the circular pieces didn't look quite right. So I got these one by two tiles with a hole in the middle and use this technique instead. Now it looks pretty epico. Now all I needed was cacti and the desert would be completely complete. Is that grammatically correct? I don't know. Anyways, I built a cacti like this and I could only build two unfortunately because of my lack of green headlight bricks that I used to put the black sets on the sides which I use for the prickly things like cacti even though they aren't black in real life at all. In Minecraft they are black though so that's what matters. And I mean for some of us hardcore gamers Minecraft is real life let's be honest. I mean us pro gamers out here hitting 12 hours a day on Minecraft can't tell really what's reality and not reality anymore. But as long as you believe it's real it's real. No unicorns are not real I'm sorry that's the only exception. And pigeons. They are only a figment of your imagination. Trust me. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get back to the build. Oh look, it's done. That's pretty lame. Just kidding. I haven't done the most important thing yet, which is to add our homeboy Bob to the build and make the mock come alive. <gasps> then I added a zombie for Bob to have a friend, but then I made him trying to kill him, so you know. Friendship, lovely, rainbows. And I'm gonna add an axolotl in the well too because they are just so dang cute. How could I not add one? Look how cute he is, oh my gosh, she's so cute. What, are you jealous? Well y'all, I think that this world is finally finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this accurately depicted an epic Minecraft world. Let me know down in the comments how close to Minecraft this looks on a scale of one to 10. Here's a cool video montage of the build for y'all with more non-copyright free Minecraft music. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Have a marvelous rest of your day. Thank you.